you can utilize MIDI in our devices in a few different ways. Trigger any of the pads as a group or as a single melodic or keyboard instrument. Start and stop synced clips. Start and stop the 16 internal sequences on the black box. Use MIDI CC messages to modulate or control various pad, track, or FX parameters. Receive MIDI program change messages to change the current preset. There are two standards for TRS MIDI, Type A and Type B. If you have two devices that use two different standards, you cannot connect them directly to one another. You will need the correct adapters for both devices. When both devices use the same standard, you can connect them directly to one another using a standard TRS cable. When both devices use different standards, you can use a standard 5-pin MIDI cable with the appropriate adapter on each end. Some devices support both standards. You can connect them directly to one another using a standard TRS cable. The black box sends and receives TRS MIDI Type B only. The MX4 MIDI Eurorack module also works with TRS MIDI Type B only. The blue box, Bitbox Mark II, and Bitbox Micro can receive TRS MIDI Type A or Type B. The blue box and Bitbox Micro output TRS MIDI Type B only. The Bitbox Mark II does not support MIDI out. The blue box and the black box feature a single USB MIDI device port on the rear panel. This port can power smaller MIDI controllers and can both send and receive MIDI. In the Tools menu, touch the MIDI tab to select a global channel for all pads. In this mode, the Mark II will respond to MIDI note numbers 36 through 51, where note number 36 is mapped to the lower left pad and note number 51 is mapped to the upper right pad. When the Mark II receives one of these note numbers, it is the same as touching the main pad screen. So if you have a one shot, this will trigger it. If you have a synced clip, you can send that note number to both start and stop the clip, just like touching the main pad screen. If you want the pads to respond to different MIDI note numbers, you can adjust the pad note parameter on the MIDI page in pad settings. This method is best for one shots or drums or any sample you want to play as is with no change in pitch. Use MIDI keys to select the incoming MIDI channel that will control the currently selected pad as a chromatic or melodic instrument. You can use the knobs to change the selected pad, thereby changing the current instrument. This mode is great for keyboardists, for example, to load backing tracks and also have a few different options for soloing. If you'd like to assign an external MIDI controller to one of the internal parameters, start by touching the black box under the parameter you'd like to control. Next, touch the Learn button in the upper right corner. It turns blue. Wiggle the control and the Learn button returns to gray. This confirms that the assignment has been stored. Make sure to save your preset to save these changes.